Okay, I haven't done aquaponics video in a while. Um, I've been going through some craziness <laughs> with the system. Here's my <clears throat> latest water test, and I'll explain why I'm showing this again here in a little bit. Um, it's like the pH is around, I say, 6.8. And the ammonia, which is the next one, is about zero. It's like everything else is zero. Um, you know, the nitrate is definitely zero. Or nitrite, I'm sorry. <clears throat> the nitrate probably is a little higher than zero because it's a little darker. You know, it's not the real light yellow. So it's between zero and five somewhere. So I give that about a two and a half. <laughs> And the reason I'm showing this is uh, I had some real big problems after I put my catfish in. Everything looked good. Uh, the I never did see the ammonia really get high. The ammonia heart ever got much more than just a little darker than yellow. So it never got more than about 0.25 parts per million. <clears throat> but the nitrite and the nitrate really spiked and what I later found out is I had a uh, I had some fish dying and they had got uh, sucked up into the uh, strainer and I couldn't see it because the water was so dark from the uh, seaweed extract so it was hard for me to see and monitor the tank so when you put seaweed extract in, think about that because uh, if you can't see the bottom of the tank, you can't see what's going on, it makes things a little difficult to monitor. So uh, anyway, that's my test. So I, I, I lost all the catfish. Uh, I mean, in the end, I, I, I fought it. I did water changes and ended up losing all the catfish. Uh, I think just the system just kind of spiraled out of control because of all the all the fish that had died and I didn't know about it and they were in there so long but uh, and here at first I thought the system was just cycling um, with the added ammonia and production from the added fish but uh, I think I may have been feeding too much so it was a combination of a bunch of things so uh, anyway let me go out to the system and uh, I'll show you what's going on okay, out okay out here at the system The fish that are left look good. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of food in there. Um, the goldfish, boy, they're troopers, I tell you. They really, uh, through all the stuff this system's been through, they have really held up. So we're talking about some hardy, hardy fish. <laughs> now, I did lose some, but uh, they're definitely more hardy than the catfish. And I got some big ones, some big goldfish in there now. So um, the status of the system now, you saw the, the pH test and everything. The pH has been definitely low or definitely going low. As a result, I think with the fish die off and everything that went out of control, I think the system has actually cycled now or it appears to be. Um, but I think I'm back in the same boat I was originally as I don't have enough fish uh, to produce a whole lot of nutrients for the plants. Even though a lot of the plants are looking pretty good. Um, I can show you the lettuce and spinach is probably doing the best. In fact, I'm going to pick some this morning to take to some family and that's all looking great uh, I put a couple pepper plants in they're kind of looking a little iffy you can see the one there in the front and there's one there amongst the amongst the uh, broccoli so you know they're kind of iffy and I planted some new carrot seeds I don't know if they're gonna end up doing anything or not right there at the edge um, but anyway, uh, and I planted some more lettuce, uh, salad mix over here, so I kind of staggered it a little bit. And a couple more pepper plants over there. 
the pepper plants actually aren't doing as good in the grow bed as they are doing in the uh, NFT system. Um, you know, which is over here, you can see the tomato plants. And tomato plants look really good. <laughs> I'm actually amazed. Let's see if you can see the root system on these suckers. I mean, that just, that is unbelievable. That's, that's a good 18 inches of roots. Um, and, you know, they're starting to bloom. Really looking good. Of course, it's kind of hard to get everything back down in the <laughs> system when I take it out, but I uh, probably shouldn't do that too often. But anyway, the uh, tomatoes are looking great. I'm very pleased with the way they're doing. And uh, I just hope that uh, I'm able to support them once they get, uh, get bigger. I've got some ideas for some support. Uh, there's the pepper plants that are in this system. And again, they uh, are looking good. I mean, much better than the others. Um, can't complain. There's two more over here. And you know, they kind of laid over and then are tending to grow back up straight. So uh, you can see those. And I just put some lettuce seedlings and that one might be surviving down there I thought they had dried up but that one looks like it might be doing okay and then one up here that one's doing eh, it's still green anyway it's not dried out and last night I uh, I sleeved the feed pipe to the NFT system because it had a real buildup of algae. Uh, I'm going to have to do something with that. I have to keep an eye on it. <clears throat> that opaque kind of white plastic pipe. And uh, so I'm keeping an eye on that. Another little mod that I made. You can see I've got the holes in the top so I can put the lid on and keep the mosquitoes out. And I put some, some uh, window screen on it to uh, allow for a vent because uh, the biofilter was acting as kind of a well it kind of started to develop a siphon and it was pouring more water out of the system uh, so the vent helped that and uh, corrected that problem so anyway you know we like I said we had a major crisis as far as losing all the fish it was kind of uh, disheartening um, definitely if I were to do it again, I would do fishless cycling first. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to end up getting some more catfish <clears throat> probably in another couple weeks. The system seems as if it's stabilized. Uh, I just want to get the pH in check. Uh, it looks like I'm probably going to have to add lime on a regular basis to keep that uh, from happening. You know, before... I I was thinking that just supplementing the water when the when the water evaporated, uh, you know, with the uh, the high pH of our water, I was hoping that would be enough to uh, to keep the pH up. But apparently it's not. <laughs> you know, and that, that's what everybody told me once the system cycled that uh, you know the pH would be really wanting to go down, and and that is the case. So that kind of is another indication to me that. You know, the system is cycled. Um, just need to get some more fish in here and get a go at it again. So, and I did have some ick with the fish. Um, <laughs> you know, I think all the uh, the shock from, you know, the difference in the water pH and high ammonia, or I mean high nitrates and nitrites and just all this, the gyrations the system have been going through. Uh, you know, I think that has... Uh, you know, that was a shock to the fish and picked up some ick, you know, and the catfish that were dying, uh, they, they had ick. Um, so I treated the system with some salt, started that to, to try to take care of that. And that has seemed to work well because I have uh, 
several goldfish that really looked in bad shape that, that had like fin rot or uh, I don't know if it was fin rot or uh, f other fish were picking on them because they were weak because of the ick but uh, some of those fish have recovered. Um, I did lose a few goldfish along the way but not many in comparison. Um, so that's uh, yeah, I guess that's the only bright subject <laughs> out of the whole thing and it has been a learning experience but uh but there again you know losing 20 catfish is, is kind of rough <laughs> kind of rough on me but uh you know i i i was expecting that that could have been a possibility after all the stuff that i've read on the internet and uh anyway the moral of the story is fishless cycling <laughs> fishless cycling will, will definitely be the, the way to go next time so anyway that's the update for now um, if anybody's got some input I would love to hear it and I hope I've helped everybody in their journey into aquaponics uh, you know maybe not make some of the same mistakes that I've made uh, but it is a learning journey so uh, anyway we'll uh, <laughs> catch you next video and thanks for watching